We got more information about a bunch of stolen Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium collections that are coming out of Chicago, it looks like. Cases of them being sold at flea markets and being sold on whatnot. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you. God loves you, that there is an awesome plan for your life. So late last night, we got the information that somebody was selling stolen Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collections on Facebook and on Instagram and a bunch of different places. So if you want to go check that video out, you can. We're not going to go into all the detail about the contents of the Ultra Premium Collection like we did in that video. But some more information has come out, and I've had two different viewers reach out to me. So huge shout out to you guys for giving me this information. Thank you so much. They wanted to uh, remain anonymous. Anonymous, so we're gonna keep them anonymous and it seems like these uh, these ultra premium collections are being sourced or they're, they're originating from Chicago somewhere so my first one is one of my viewers reached out and was telling me that they were at a thrift mart or a flea market in Chicago and they found a seller there which I'm assuming is the Windy City Pops that we talked about in the video yesterday who had two cases of these ultra premium collections two cases of these ultra premium collections so you can see right here they said we were at a flea market in downtown chicago and the dude had two cases for 150 dollars a piece and then there's some of the booster back packs right there that they had and they said aren't they coming out in october and i was like yeah they come out in nine weeks they clearly got them from somebody that stole them they said it was at the swap arama in chicago and then you can see right here they actually took a picture of the case uh that the person had so this dude just had a couple cases chilling of the pokemon 151 you know ultra premium collection nine weeks early selling them at a flea market so a lot of stuff about these leaking surrounding chicago including the whatnot seller that i'm about to show you that was selling them on whatnot who verbally confirmed uh that they got them in chicago or was talking about the windy city stuff like that so you can see right here boom right here is the the case showing the pokemon tcg scarlet and violet 3.5 ultra premium collection english four per carton and then the metal cards the deck box and the play map parts were made in china so there is all of the information from that i don't know if this will help the pokemon company to source where these originated from where these cases came from but there's all the information for the actual labeling from the the factory and the distributor for that absolutely wild that somebody at a flea market in chicago had multiple cases of these and i did reach out to them on instagram and never heard back from them uh by the time i'm editing this video if they have responded i'll throw that up uh into the video but as of now nothing from them in response to how they got these where they got these selling them for 150 bucks a piece and then obviously are we surprised that people on whatnot are getting their hands on them and trying to sell them for 200 250 dollars now don't be spending crazy money on these because like i said they were up for pre-order for so long they may still be up for pre-order at target you can easily get pre-orders of these for 100 120 bucks at msrp don't pay 250 dollars for these or what these people are asking just because they're early it's stupid the these types of sellers are going to miss lead you tell you that it's super super rare that's going to be super super hard to get nine weeks early for something this large and this big of a deal like an ultra premium collection is very involved is really really a lot so the next thing we have is we have uh somebody sent me some information about a whatnot streamer there's actually on whatnot early this morning that had some of the pokemon 151 ultra premium collections and was showing them off and trying to sell them so we can look at this screenshot right here and see that the screenshot is showing us that they actually had them up and they were trying to let them go for i think it was 260 dollars. yeah right here english 151 ultra premium collection they had it up for 260 dollars. it's vxtry team so i'm guessing that's victory team on whatnot five people watching you sell your uh ultra premium collection that's stolen nine weeks early it's wild 260 dollars usd for something that's 120 bucks it's going to be very readily available next is a video i actually went and found this whatnot streamers uh profile and some whatnot streamers leave their videos up to be reviewed later went and found it and screen recorded it so check it out right here where he's showing it off and he even admits that it might be stolen and is refusing offers for this ultra premium collection uh people are offering like 200 dollars for the ultra premium collection and he's refusing offers for that so check this out somebody does want it i don't know it's a big box if somebody wants it i don't know i'll buy it right now bro how, i mean how much for one bro i guess i don't know 200 for one nah bro i don't know i don't know bro i just i just got these like an hour ago not 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 even bro that's the thing sheesh i only got two right now my pills be coming through like sheesh I kid you not um 
I don't know. It's kind of hard to. I, it's kind of hard to throw out a number to be honest with you, bro. Not even. Gotta be stolen. <laughs> nah, bro. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Nah, bro. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of hard to throw out a number when I just got them. So as of right now, you can go onto that seller's whatnot stream and still look at that stream. That's the clip that I put together, but my source that wanted to remain anonymous also told me that later on in the stream, about the hour 45 mark, another whatnot streamer came in and they negotiated a trade. So these UPCs are gonna end up on some other whatnot streamer's stream where they're gonna try and sell them. And this just goes back into the, the crazy like, I understand if whatnot's letting people, you know, sell things right before pre-release or whatever. That's a gray area and I get it. But something like this that's nine weeks ahead of time, like whatnot needs to be a little more strict about things like that. And then this seller did mention to my source that he was in the Windy City area. So this seller very potentially could have also gone to that Swaparama flea market that our first source sent us that information with the pictures of the actual cases this whatnot seller could have very well gone there and bought them for 150 bucks and is trying to turn around and sell them for a 250 dollar uh, price point about a hundred dollar profit each i'm really incredulous to see stuff like that i mean this happens every set but something as involved as an ultra premium collection this far in advance to be honest with you it was kind of wild that that's been leaked multiple multiple cases have found their way out of distribution and are seeming to originate in Chicago some way, shape or form. And what we're learning from this is when these types of things happen, it seems like Pokemon cares, but they don't care enough to keep it from happening. Like this happens almost every hyped release. And it almost seems like Pokemon cares more about making sure people on Instagram don't have Pokemon or Pokey in their Instagram profiles and banning those people than they do about making sure that entire cases of ultra premium collections don't somehow walk out of the back door of a distribution facility before nine weeks before the set releases or before the actual boxes release. It's, it's amazing to me. This is clearly stolen product. And I will say again, don't buy these ultra premium collections this expensive. One, they're stolen. Two, you can go pre-order these for 120 bucks all day long they're gonna be available we're likely gonna see them in stores likely gonna be able to uh, find them for a long time coming just like the Charizard ultra premium collections don't fomo on these and spend an extra hundred bucks just to get them super super early it's not worth it be really careful who you buy from on whatnot be really careful who you're buying from uh, on facebook and instagram because stuff like this always happens really interested to see if pokemon's going to care about this and if that information with the actual picture showing the case and the barcodes and all of those different numbers can actually help pokemon to trace it back where it came from absolutely insane guys this is crazy if you enjoyed this video or this type of content the best thing that you can do for me is give the video a thumbs up it's absolutely free for you to do it and it helps support the channel so so much if you enjoyed this video i think you'll really like this video right there it's a lot more positive and a lot more helpful and like i always say my friends find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world see you next time